this mount was uh, modified from a one that I found online because for me, the, the other mount was too short and would put the screen um, basically down here, cutting off a little bit of this. I wanted to have space. I wanted to be able to see it more easily. Uh, also, you can put this anywhere horizontally that you want. There's, there's plenty of room back there for it to be anywhere you want. Uh, I wanted it to be close to the driver, obviously. Um, the modification is that it's longer, taller this way. Also, it's a millimeter thicker. I was worried that this might flex, so um, it's just a little bit thicker. And it's got a great fit. It doesn't move at all. If, you know, you can see some motion there, but I'm really pushing on it hard. In normal driving, it doesn't move at all. And then this is a mount that uh, also is uh, uh, online and it, it was pretty nice. It printed well. It took a bit of cleanup um, because it's a very thin piece of plastic and I use carbon fiber nylon. So it's very stiff. Uh, and like I said, it took, took some cleanup, but it works great and it's very solid. It has no bounce on it whatsoever. It was, um, it was super easy to install. A lot of the advice I've seen online is to connect these uh, accessories to this fuse, F49. But unfortunately, that stays on all the time. So it means that your CarPlay screen would just stay on all the time. And, and that's what happened. I wired it there first. And uh, then it's connecting to the our phones while we're inside the house. It's, it's kind of dumb. It has to turn off. So uh, the other problem, so then, the, the fuses that I found that are switched off with ignition are these really weird MTA maxi compact fuses. And uh, none of the fuse taps that I have would fit them. And also uh, looking online, I didn't find a single fuse tap that would fit it. So basically I took a standard uh, full size automotive fuse tap and I added these pigtails. And so I'm gonna push this into uh, this one, which is, F54, and that is 12 volt outlet number three. I have no idea what 12 volt outlet number three is. I know that number one is in the dash and two is the frunk. So three maybe is the gear tunnel, I don't know. Uh, they are 20 amp fuses. They're obviously intended for random loads, so you're not gonna hurt the truck by connecting anything to this. It would be the same as just plugging it into one of those power outlets. So this is what it looks like under here. Um, so hard to get the camera and my hands and think about talking, but this is where my adapter, uh, is for the, the fuse tap. This is the one that is always on. I chose to connect my phone holder to that because I, I would like to be able to charge the phone anytime. And the, the vampire load on it is extremely small, so I'm not worried about it. So at this point, when I get in and activate the car because it went into sleep mode, even though the door's open, it should power up the CarPlay screen, hopefully, which means I've wired it correctly. And there we are. Perfect.